Hello everybody and welcome back to Ocean WP tutorial videos. In this video, I'll be taking you guys to the customizer and show you guys how to access the different styles that are available on mobile menus. Stay tuned. So what we're going to be doing, as like I've explained in the previous videos, is we have access to all of these features that Ocean WP provides to us uh, from the theme panel. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be opening this in a new page again. All right, and I'm just going to select customize. Just give that a second to load. Brilliant. All right, so what we can do now is what we want to do is we want to access, we want to see what options we can change uh, within the menu for mobiles. So I'm just going to go into the header section again. I'm going to select mobile menu. Okay. So if, for those of you who don't know what a uh, media query is, is upon changing the width of the screen, so from big screens to laptops or to desktops to tablets, those are breakpoints. So when a, when a screen size decreases to a specific breakpoint, then styling within that page is going to change according to the styling set for that breakpoint. So for this one, for mobile, the breakpoint is set to 959 mega, I mean, uh, pixels, which is standard. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open the page in a new window again, except I'm going to show you what it looks like on mobile. So I'm going to press control shift I, and I've already set mine to, you can change the presets over here. I'm just going to change it to an iPhone. Okay. Um, and now this is what the menu looks like on mobile. It's a standard drop down menu. Click on that, then more appears, etc., And so, you know, so on and so forth. So we're going to go back into the customizer and the first thing we're going to look at is changing the way the menu is, you know, shows upon changing the device width. So we're going to, let's say, change this to sidebar, going to publish it. And I'm going to reload this. And if we click on that now, you can see that the menu appears from the left. So that's a cool way to demonstrate it. And um, there is another option that we can change. And I'm going to go to full screen, publish it, reload, and select that. And you can see that it's a full screen menu that appears. So those are pretty cool. And that's what you can do for mobile. Um, okay, let's have a look at the other features that are available to us. So if we go back into there, we have the cart logo and link. So there's the cart, the logo, and the menu. We can change that to logo cart link. Let's publish that. Let's see what else is available there. Let's change that. You can see that we've now changed the positioning of the logo and the cart. Brilliant. Um, we've changed that. Let's change it back to drop down. Brilliant. Now you can change the color. Let's change it to red. Let's reload that. Now we can see that we've changed that to red. So the max height was set down to 400. Let's change it to 776. Let's see what it looks like that. You can now see that we changed the height. It was full screen. Now it goes a little bit beyond full screen. Okay, if you want to enable the um, overlay, let's publish that. That's for the search icon. Let's publish it. Let's reload. Now we can see that we have a little search bar too. And we can also change the way that the search bar is styled so it appears. So I think it's an overlay, which means it takes up the, it, it, it's an overlay over the screen. So let's uh, say drop down. Let's publish that. In my opinion, I kind of like the overlay, which we have over here at the moment. Just going to reload. If we click on search again, it's now a drop down. 
So those are a few options that you have available to you, which is awesome. Um, we can change the background color. You know, you get the point that you can do. Um, you know, upon clicking on a link, it changes the background color and so on and so forth. So there's so many things that you can change here. Um, you can even change the, the hamburger button. So let's try uh, 3DX. Let's publish that. There we go. So it changes like that. Okay. We've already covered that. The background colors that we can have. So let's change the border color of the search bar. Let's change it to red. Publish. Let's reload. And there we go. You can see that that is now red once you click on that. Brilliant. Okay, so that's what that's pretty much all we have to do with regards to the um, menu options within WordPress and the customizer. Um, really cool options that are available to us there. And uh, stay tuned for more videos on the upcoming other features. Thank you very much. Bye bye.